Hey everybody, John Locke here. And today I'm just going to talk about how to make a, a good tensioning tool out of a key for a lever style padlock and how to just add a simple handle onto a ground down key uh, to make the leverage tool a lot easier. So <clears throat> when you make a tensioning tool for a lever lock by cutting down a key, um, you end up with something like this and you get it in your lock. And when you're picking, when you have a key like this, it can be really hard to get the tension. You've got to put some tension on, holding it just right with one hand, holding the lock with the other in your picking. And it can just be very easy to, to lose tension, to, to lose the rotation. It's a very unnatural kind of position uh, on the tension tool uh, to, to do. And that can cause some challenges. So <clears throat> what I have here is, um, <clears throat> just a small modification to the key, a little clamp, piece of metal clamp that I put on it. Now, when I use this in the lock, um, I can have these little ends to, to go on. So if I'm looking for leverage, I can get in the lock and a much more natural kind of position for me to have uh, counter rotation and, and get in with my pick um, here or putting my pick through uh, this tension tool, which actually gives it uh, also my pick some some leverage. I kind of like that. <clears throat> so this is the, the tool I created, um, to, a little clamp to put on, and it's super easy to make. You can probably see already from here uh, how to do it. Uh, but just in case, <clears throat> I'll walk you through it really easy. All you need are uh, two uh, flat plates. Uh, like this, you can get these at any hardware store anywhere in the world. Uh, you'll find these. Uh, I'm using some four M4 machine screws, and uh, two. I need two of those, two nuts, two washers. That's it. To put them together, just put the the plates together. <clears throat> one side, one bolt. Get a washer on this end. Get a nut on it. Do the same thing on the other side, just the other direction. <clears throat> Bolt. Washer. Nut. And I just try to go down, leave it a, enough room for there to be a decent sized gap. Take my key, put the handle of the key right there. Looks like I've got to loosen up on the bottom. A bit tighten up on the top once I've got it roughly where I want I'll tighten it all down it looks like I'm almost there this looks good give it a few more hand turns get it hand tight <clears throat> and on it, I actually like the <clears throat> on the left hand side for the top bolt to be on top or uh, top on the left. So I'll orient it that way. Hand tighten everything uh, up. And looks pretty good. Once I have it hand tight, just come back with the Allen wrench Get it locked down. So that's it. That's how you make this simple tension tool. It's probably about, I don't know, a dollar or two, euro or two worth of parts. Easy to make uh, and really helps out when you've got to put tension on the, the lock. Um, now I don't have to hold it at a ridiculous position, can put it at a comfortable position can get my pick in here and can pick away. All right, guys, that's what I have for you today. Uh, hope that's helpful. And uh, yeah, little, little trick I figured out. Have a good one.